Mistakes are part of life. They make us who we are today. If it were not for mistakes, I sure as hell know I would not be the same had if I had not, hadn't not chosen that now wasn't ever at all. I'm serious. It's cool to be homo. Never lose faith in homo anity or, or, or any god. I'm having the best time of my life so far yet to be manifested into existence. Good for Satan. Your mom's G-string and bra. She came out of the shower that night. You guys had me over for dinner last week. And she was buck naked, steamy, wet. She walked out of the bathroom and everything. Johannesburg. Wuhan, Josburg. Ohana means family. We love you, Chinese overlords, and family means nobody gets left without COVID. This is the way of the future. This movie is called Copious Amounts of Queer. My dad is a superhero. He wears tights, just like the actors on the show Power Rangers. Therefore, my daddy is a hero, just like those Power Rangers. One time, when we went camping out on a superhero camping trip group getaway, my daddy always wears his Power Rangers outfit. That's how people can easily identify him as a superior life form. Apparently, this bitch-ass park ranger was telling my daddy that skin-tight, see-through uniforms aren't child-safe or family-friendly, and that because his genitals were dangling outside of his outfit, that he was in violation of some bullshit, yak, bullshit, nigga never shut the fuck up! My dad's a fucking hero. Bro, props, daddy. I love you. Nigga, don't even get me started. <clears throat> Excuse me. Don't even get me started on Christmas traditions. Our Santa Claus always had a third leg, if you know what I mean. I would sit on daddy's third leg and it would throb underneath my tiny little string bean and bone legs. I would try to sit on Santa's lap for as long as I could. Santa noticed that I was cold one day, and then he even put his hands down my pants over my crotch to keep me warm as I snuggled closer into his own warm hearth within the pelvic circulatory system of his self. He even took off his gloves and rubbed me and gave me a little kiss goodbye sometimes. Yeah, I love you, Daddy Santa. It really hurt my head and gave me trauma to see the violent attacking and dog it he bit his face and screaming and police officer i'm crying there will be many pandemic year after year at this point scientists predict get ready it's going to be like Six Flags. We wake up in the morning at 4 a.m., leave the house as a family by 5, no later than 5.30. Always blame someone else. The pyramids are the bosom of life in this fucking universe. If you can't make it on Earth, you are just a really pathetic piece of shit. Gays for Palestine, transgenders for Palestine, huge horse cock for Palestine, all the gifts and luxury Allah can spare, all for our brethren now lying in Palestine. When your mistress questions you, question that bitch right back. Oh, how is your work today? Okay, bitch. How the fuck was yours? Especially when that stupid hoe be questioning your authority by using subliminal tactics and that psycho-psychotic mental gymnastics bullshit beating around the bush. Uh, I just had the worst day ever. <laughs> you wouldn't believe it. <laughs> like, whoa. <laughs> okay, bitch, calm down. No need to insult my GPA over here. For fuck's sake, lady. I follow Stephen Hawking's on Facebook. That's right. Job title, man. Fired. 
So, anyways, if that slut is ever going to question my character, I'm going to throw that shit right back in her dumb face. Oh, uh, what happened, honey? You know, just to play dumb, like I really don't know. For clarification, when I go over someone's house or see you guys in the street somewhere or at a bar, I don't care about your family, your dad. It, it, back the fuck up. Don't take a selfie. Don't say hi. Shut the fuck up. Leave the vicinity. Okay, get the hell out. I fucking hate you. I'm talking about my dad. I'm talking about myself. We're talking about me right now. We might never get to the time when we talk about you. And I'm okay with that. So everyone just shut the hell up. I'm what's important. You know that for a fact. I don't care about your weak ass, dumb shit. <laughs> this next one. Um, I saw this three times in theaters and I bought a, a two DVD box set gift sets. One for, per, for personal use and then I have one uh, backed up in my U-Haul trailer. Uh, I got um, Lil Gay Ass, the movie. They call me anal retentive. They really hurt my feelings. But I call it queer in the ass it's like a hard stick is already inside me entrance lips puckered up lil newbie on the block that's me yo it's yo boy big shout out cut it's my lil g you know who he is we know who you is we up in here in theaters, July 2024, coming to a theater near you. Pre-release promo night, June 27th, online only through Netflix. July 21st, DVD drop set, 150,000 copies at Pop-Up Shop San Francisco, Gillette Stadium, 666-774-43910. Start the name calling. End the torment. Let's start calling the heroes the heroes because in high school academics, it's the pinnacle of human being. Nice. Too far? Not far enough? Far out. The far side gallery. Far and wide to whom it may concern Lord Farquaad of Far East Movement, trans for Israel, gays, for Palestine, Romai, Igne, Rota, Subrashi.